Hi, this is Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing.com. Uh, I ran into a cool highlighter effect that Scott Deloach at clickstart.net developed, and it's intended for Madcap Flare. What it does is, is make it so when people do searches, the keywords they type for are highlighted in the search results. So here are Scott's instructions on how to install this highlight effect, and I'm just going to walk through them um, and, and put it into a sample project just to give a demonstration of how to do it. So first, you're going to add the following code to your master page before the closing body tag. So I'll copy this, you come into your resources, open master pages, and you're going to open this uh, with your internal text editor, and put it right down here before the closing body tag and save it. Now there's, by the way, all these resources are in a, in a, a highlighter um, zip file that you download from clickstart.net. So now to add the highlighter JavaScript file to this master page folder. So I'm going to open this up uh, in the windows there and I believe, whoops, let me find the highlighter file. Okay, the, oops, you know what, I, I believe I already moved that uh, JavaScript file out, the, out of there, so I'm going to copy it from here, from the, from the zip file, all right, and paste it in there. So now we've got the highlighter JavaScript file integrated. Okay, let's keep going here. Add this class to your style sheet. Now... I've already added that class uh, because I use a global project linked style sheet, but I'm just going to show it here. So down at the bottom, I've added this class. Uh, I have not added this class. You know what? So I've got it linked on a master, and I guess I haven't synced it for a while or re-imported it, so I'm just going to do that right now. All right. Come on, baby. There we go. So basically, a global project linking, I'm not sure what it's called, but you can, uh, y you basically have a, a master project and then you can link things to it. And so the, your, your other projects like use that as their home source. So let's go back to that style sheet. You see the little link there. Open with, and if I scroll down to the bottom, there is the style that I've added dot h i looks like and i chose that background color all right now let's cruise on down here open up your html5 skin so that the skins are in your project organizer and this is an html5 i'm just going to open this regularly and so select the styles tab and the toolbar button and we're going to add um, a class here so we've got the styles tab selected Let's give a little more viewing space here. And we're going to scroll down to the toolbar button and we're going to add a class and we're going to call this remove highlight no spaces. Now we're going to let's see. Okay, we're going to switch over to the alphabetical list and there's some JavaScript we're going to put into the click property. So why do I have this so large here? Let's scoot it over. Scroll down to the click property. Add this here. Scroll back up to the background image property. And we're going to browse for an image. This is included in the zip file Scott sends. All right, select the UI tab. Okay, and we're going to scroll down to this, uh, let's see, there we go, toolbar button, remove highlight, we're going to call it remove highlight, and finally, we're going to go to the toolbar, and we're going to add this new button right there in our toolbar. We're going to save it. Now, let's build the HTML5 and test it out.
All right, it's finished building. Now, normally I would just click yes to view the generated output, but if you're running Chrome, if you've selected Chrome as your default browser, then locally it's not going to show the highlights. You'll have to upload it to a web server first to see the highlights. So I'm going to open this in Internet Explorer just so we can demonstrate this without uploading it to a web server. So let's say that I search for the word articles and no, no highlighting here in the first level here, but as soon as I drill down, you can see things are highlighted. Unfortunately, it does not expand the drop down hotspots, which I love to use. So users would have to expand that in order to see all the highlights within them. All right, hope uh, this is helpful. Again, I'm Tom at I'd rather be writing.com. You can find all of these, uh, all of this information at clickstart.net. Let me just go to it. Clickstart.net slash highlighter. And you can download uh, the, the, all the files. This is one you want right here, highlighter underscore all.